Hi everyone, I'm Robert Brownell and I'm a Polk County Supervisor. I represent West Des Moines, Clive, and a very beautiful section of Des Moines from 63rd Street to Fleur Drive. I've missed a month, my apologies for that. During the last taping, I was one of many from our area in Washington, D.C. for meetings with our congressional delegation. But now it's the middle of the summer and I'm back. And under the whip of the Des Moines TV staff, and they are taking no excuses from me whatsoever about not doing a Polk County update this month. So here I am, and I'm glad to be here. I thought today I'd discuss Broadlawns Hospital with you. Many people think of Broadlawns as the county hospital or the poor person's hospital. It's a lot more than that, and we hope, in fact, that Broadlawns is about to take on an even more important role in our state. Broadlawns was opened in 1924 on the current site as a center for tuberculosis care and treatment. That was their original mission. They morphed eventually into wide-scale treatment for sexually transmitted diseases and ultimately into a central mission of mental health care. In fact, even today, Broadlawns maintains 24 mental health care beds. Broadlawns today is a primary health care facility offering anything any other hospital can offer. It's a valuable part of our community, and I think we can all agree on that. There was a time in the not too distant past that Broadlawns lost tens of millions of dollars annually in their operations. Those days are gone. They're now in the black and they're expanding their hospital to better serve this community. Many of you have probably seen all the construction up there. Polk County, in fact, is placing its medical examiner's office and the morgue at Broadlawns permanently. What I wanted to discuss with you today is a proposal to expand Broadlawns' effect to a more statewide basis. Currently, there are two hospitals in Iowa that serve the less fortunate, the uninsured, and others that perhaps cannot utilize the private sector hospitals in Iowa. Those are Broadlawns and the University of Iowa hospitals. What is proposed is that the state be segmented into regions. Each region would have a medical home hospital. For example, the southwest section of Iowa would have a home hospital in Council Bluffs as their medical home. However, the state would be split on a north-south line with Broadlawns taking the western two-thirds of Iowa and the University of Iowa taking the eastern one-third for secondary care, not primary care. So, if you're an Iowa CARES patient and you need radiology or an MRI or something of that nature, your medical home would send you to Broadlawns for that. If it's determined through that examination that surgery or something of, something of that nature is called for, and that's called tertiary care, then you go to Iowa City. So, why is that better? Well, currently, if you're an Iowa CARES patient and you live in Dallas County, for example, you're forced to go to Iowa City for secondary care. Same for Sioux City, Orange City, and others. Under this proposal, in this way, we can serve Iowans with a hospital closer to where they live. That just makes sense. Broadlawns will ultimately become a medical home for several counties in central and southern Iowa. So primary care will be delivered to those Iowa CARES patients at Broadlawns as well. Revenue is proposed to be provided by the state to pay for this so the Polk County taxpayer is not bearing the cost load for this uh, procedure. We believe that with the implementation of the Affordable Health Care Act, or Obamacare, in 2014, Broadlawns will be uniquely positioned to serve the underinsured, the Iowa CARES level patients. This is all in the proposal stage right now, but I think it makes a lot of sense. It takes two terrific hospitals, one in Des Moines and one in Iowa City, and takes advantage of both of their strengths. That's all I have for this month. Have a great summer, and I'll see you in August.